She takes out the knife that's been hidden in her bag all night. Reflection of the blade revealing her determination. It's done. No one can stop her now. I remember something. Wherever she looked, it caused her eyes to shake and her head to ache as she lost her balance over and over until she was forced to shut them, squeezing out a tear between the lids. That doesn't make any sense. Have you got any updates on your book? I think the publishing house wants a new draft submitted this week. Um, yeah, I'm just refining the climax scene. Um, but I thought that you said that the deadline wasn't for another two weeks. <laughs> no, you must have confused the schedule. Anyway, I just wanted to check in. I'll let you go now. <laughs> Bye. Sophie? She couldn't help but feel as like it was music to her ears. She brought the knife up again, and as she went to strike for the heart, she hesitated. Making a split-second decision, she went to slit his throat. A quick death would not do. She needed him to suffer, uh, to feel a taste of all the suffering he had given her. As he choked on his own blood, she knew that he, she had made the right choice. As he collapsed to the mossy floor, she had kicked him over so she could watch the light leave his eyes and his evilness and destruction going with him. For the first time in a long time, she could finally breathe. She wiped her jagged knife on his shirt and walked to her car to dispose of his body. To be honest, Mallory, your story sounds really solid. sound off. Are you feeling okay? Yeah, um, I don't know. Is your anxiety getting worse? Not really. Um, yes. I've just been having these nightmares recently and they're just making me feel uneasy. What are the nightmares like? It's like I'm situated in my own novel. The one that I'm reading to you. Well, you're a bit too into it, don't you think? Don't let the stories get to you. They're not real. I know, but... In my nightmares, 
I'm the one that's killing someone. It feels real. And I don't like it. Well, you've put yourself into your character's minds too much. But anyone would feel the same in your shoes. You've done so much for me since my dad disappeared, and I just want to be there for you. Is there anything I can do? Um, oh. I'm so sorry. I have to go. Um, how about we do something fun tonight? Uh, watch a movie? Get your mind off things. Um, don't be too hard on yourself. Sophie's right. Hi, it's Mallory. I've got the full manuscript ready for proof. I'll be there in about 30 minutes. It is cold out there. 
but I'm glad I brought my coat with me. Almost left without it. Is there anything you regret doing in this life? <laughs> Pretty heavy topic for somebody who just came in the door, don't you think? A little, yeah. <laughs> Tell me about it. <sighs> but, since you mention it, there are things I am Regretful for? What's that? You know what happened to my dad? Ever since he disappeared, I've been blaming myself every day. He was a total bastard, sure, but... I wish I could have talked to him more. Got to know him better. I don't know if he'd apologize for all the crappy things he put my mom and I through, but if he came back, I'd at least hear him out. He used to talk about all the awful things he did. I thought that you would be happier without him here. Um, I'm so sorry that's been so hard for you. It's okay. I'm used to it now, and we gotta live our lives, move forward, and besides, I got you. It's like we're playing a confession game. All right, your turn, Mallory. There are things that I feel regretful for, or maybe guilty is a better word for it. I don't, I don't know. I just feel so confused and everything just feels beyond my grasp. Valerie. You were so happy the other day talking about how close you were to finishing this book and... Come on, what happened to that girl? She was here the other day. And now I don't know she, where she is. Maybe I'm just exhausted. Hey, what's in your pocket? Is that a chain for oh, something? Um, Sophie, would you like some hot chocolate too? I mean, <laughs> sure, but come on, what is it? Sophie? tell you about my regrets. Have you ever laid awake at night thinking about a mistake that you made that at the time had felt so right but it turned out to be so wrong? Mallory, what's going on? I don't think that my nightmares are just dreams. I think they actually happened. What do you mean? I killed someone. No, Valerie, those were nightmares. You're not a killer, I know you. I, that's, that's what I thought too. Um, I thought that those dreams were just a way for me to write my novel, but today when I went to go and turn in that manuscript to the publisher, um, I pulled over. 
I went astray. And there was just something so familiar about those woods and I just walked in and I walked and I walked like I was possessed and at the edge of the forest I found the evidence of what I did, not some fiction novel that I made. What, um, why did you do it? It was self-defense. If it was self-defense, I can no, help no, you. No, I, I can never be forgiven. No, Mallory, please. Why do you have my tats pended? Sophie, I'm so sorry. Mallory, what is going on? I care about you, Sophie. And, and I thought that your life would be easier if, if he wasn't in it disturbing you. Um, I thought that that was how... Uh, I should do it. I thought that that was justice. I must have been so shocked by what I did, I completely blacked out the memory. Mallory, I never asked you to do anything. My dad may have been hard to be around, but in all my worst times, you were there, and, and, and that was all I needed. I feel the same, Sophie. I just wanted you to be happier. I regret so much. Even the thought about not telling you even after I remembered everything, I still was going to bring this manuscript to the publisher. I didn't want anything to change between us, so I just went about everything as normal. But knowing and not telling you, I couldn't do that. So here, take it, read it. Give it to the police. Do whatever you want with it. I don't want it. Please. I took away your choice when it came to your father. I can never make up for what I did. But I can give you this choice. This book. Am I in it? With a different name? Yes. What happens to us? I left it up to interpretation. I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose you either, but some things are just. Unforgivable. How could you look me in the eyes for the rest of our life knowing what I did?
I would have stayed with you forever. But knowing what I know, I can't stay in the same house with you anymore. I love you, Mallory. I love you too. Goodbye, Sophie.